Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going through my essentials to go to a ballet class either in studio or at home. Let's go. Okay, let's start off with flat shoes. These are the, and I'm gonna have to check my notes, the Sodanza Bliss Stretch Canvas Split Sole Shoes. There is a code next to it, SD16, when you look it up online. It's a bit of a mouthful. I do have a link in the description below to help you out. These are canvas. They're a split sole, so you can see the two pieces of the sole here. And they're well loved. I mean, there are holes in them. They are dirty. I do need to buy a new pair. I grew up in the era of the Sancha canvas split sole shoes being the shoes that everyone wore, and they are bulky. Unless you have really outrageously beautiful arched feet, they don't help. <laughs> So I'm really happy to have these in my kit. I do have ballet pink flats as well, but I tend to wear these a lot because I tend to wear black tights more often than not. Which brings me on to the next one, black tights. I've been wearing them almost exclusively lately. They're a little more forgiving, so I think I've just been feeling more comfortable with a little extra coverage lately. These ones specifically are the Capizio brand with the stirrup bottom. Oh, no wait, these are just the cutoff bottom. But what I like about these specifically is the knitted waistband. Some other tights will have an elastic waistband that can feel like it's digging into your waist a little bit more, but the knitted waistband is very comfortable. It just sits on the skin. It doesn't add any lumps, so it's very comfortable to wear. I have a link for these in the description as well. These I wear in a large slash extra large. Okay, so this is my blue foot massage ball. I love this thing. I use it all the time. My feet get really tight and cramped during class and especially between exercises at the bar, so I'm constantly rolling my feet out. It helps stop the intrinsic small muscles of my feet right under the arch from tightening and cramping up, which means I have an easier time rolling through the foot, articulating the foot, doing releves, doing eleves. So this is a key item in my kit. Trash pants. <laughs> or garbage pants. They're also known as ripstop pants. I always wear these for bar because they help me warm up. I like getting really, really, really warm during bar, so they generally stay on me the whole length of the bar. I did just buy a pair of trash pants and actually trash shorts from Amazon that are in this really nice light gray color. They haven't arrived yet. They're not from a dance brand. They're from this third party brand on Amazon, so I don't really know what to expect. I'm not sure what I'll be receiving, so it could be a bit of a risky purchase. There are two styles of skirts that I really like. The first is the bullet point skirt. I like this one because first it's black, so again, a little extra coverage. Secondly, the cut of the skirt is really flattering. So there is a very slight high low in the back, but also the style of skirt can feel a little bit more flirty or a little bit more energetic. The slight cut up the sides on the hip is actually really, really flattering, especially for curvy bodies and adult bodies. I think bullet point skirts were introduced to the public through much younger students and specifically the School of American Ballet, but it really is a very flattering skirt on adults and curvy bodies. Highly recommend. I love, love, love the look of a mesh skirt, especially when it's that high-low style. This one is the Ballet Rosa Ninette pull-on high-low skirt. Again, a bit of a mouthful. I have it in this beautiful green color, but it also comes in a light pink, a navy blue, and a black. The size range isn't great. There's only two sizes available. The first one is extra small slash small, and the second one is medium slash large. I have the medium slash large, but I really like the skirt. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. I feel great when I wear it, and it's in one of my favorite ballet outfits. I've also been eyeing more skirts on Etsy for a long time, thanks to Katherine Morgan through her YouTube channel. She has this whole video where she goes through all of her leotards, all of her tops, her bottoms, all of the skirts. So I'll link that down below so you can take a look at each of the colors and variety that More Skirts has available. The skirts are well priced for the market, so about $42 US and $60 Canadian. I've hesitated in buying them because there's an additional $21 shipping fee for Canada. But lucky, if anyone's in the US, it's completely free shipping. Okay, so the next items are these insulated bottles and I've picked my Harry Potter one because I am a total Harry Potter fan. This one's super cool and it has the Marauders map all over it. It's a lot of fun. Before my injury, I'd be driving to a class that was 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back. 
And so when I was preparing to leave the house, I would fill this water bottle with cool water for class. I don't like icy water. I feel like I'm part of the select few online who don't like really, really cold water. I prefer room temperature leaning cool. So this does a great job of keeping it at that temperature. And then I would also prepare a cup of tea, usually peppermint tea, for the drive home. And so I would make the tea. It, this would sit in my car while I was taking class. And by the time I came outside, got into my car to drive home, this was at the perfect drinking temperature to sip on the way home. And I had made the tea two hours earlier. It made the longer drive really enjoyable. It made the whole experience great. I'd throw on a podcast. I'd sip my tea on the way home and it was really, really nice. So I highly recommend these for keeping your drinks at the temperature you want them to be at. And the making the tea ahead of time and preparing that is such a hack. The next one is my Apple Watch. This is one of those surprise purchases that I don't think I would have ever gone out of my way to buy one, but I've been surprised by how much I've used it and how much I've really enjoyed using it. So I have a specific watch face for when I do workouts and it has heart rate, time, a timer, it has my rings, it has quick access to Spotify, and then the workout watch app running in the background. I start the dance open goal workout at the beginning of class and there's a timer so I can see how far into the class we are. It does show calorie counts, but I'm really not concerned about that at all. What I look at is the heart rate. So if I've done an exercise and I'm between groups or we're learning something else, I like to keep an eye on how my heart's doing and how it's recovering. It's a bit of a fun thing to look at, but I like having that running during class. I can also see how this comes in handy if you have other things going on outside of the class that are important, that are urgent, where you can get texts to your watch during the class. I've never texted out of my watch during class, but I have received texts about impending terrible snowstorms, which, well, I have to drive home anyways, but it was good to know. Okay, AirPods. This is a surprising one for me, but has been a major zero to one life upgrade. I originally bought the regular AirPods back in 2019 and a year and a bit later I upgraded to the Pros. These are our first generation Pros and I really should have just bought these in the first place. They really are that much better. I bring these to class in studio, but I only really use them if I'm there early and I'm warming up and no one's there. Otherwise, I use them a lot for ballet when I'm at home. Sometimes if you're doing ballet where other people are or you need the house to be quiet, this is the answer. It also gives you quick access to the play and pause button on the ear, so you don't have to run over to your laptop or to your phone or to the TV to play or pause a video or music that you're listening to. Most people will bring a whole ballet bag with them to class, and I used to. I haven't for a long time. I'd like to upgrade to a small bag. I find a lot of dance bags really big, but I try and bring as little with me as possible to class. So for now, I'm just using this Sancha mesh shoe bag. Otherwise, I put everything in this belt bag, so I have my cards, my car keys, my phone, my AirPods, and that's kind of it. I keep it simple. These essentials have made such a difference for me, especially after a long break from ballet. If you're gearing up to go back to ballet, you'll want to check out this video where I talk about four questions that I ask studios to find a good class. 